Hi, this is Mandy Griffin, Family Engagement Specialist at the Georgia Department of Education. Today we're going to be talking about how to engage families using social media. Let's get started. The learning targets for this session are as follows. Participants will formulate a keen sense of what it takes to create an online presence to assist with family engagement based on the information shared during this session. Participants will also compare and contrast social media and technology successes with other participants through the exchange of tips and ideas. If you are using this video for an activity with your staff or a group of parents in your school or district, this is a great icebreaker activity called the Inside Outside Circle. On this slide, you'll see all the steps in order to complete this activity. The question for the Inside Outside Circle to discuss is, how are you using social media to reach other parents in your school district? If you are using social media, tell us how. As always, we like to focus on the Georgia's systems of continuous improvement. This session focuses on the area of family and community engagement. The National Standards for Family School Partnership have adopted the Georgia PTA six standards, welcoming all families, communicating effectively, supporting student success, speaking up for every child, sharing power, and collaborating with the community. In this session, we're gonna talk about different ways that you can use social media to engage your families. These areas that we're gonna focus on today are outreach, time-sensitive information, to build relationships, share good news, and to serve as a source for online learning for parents. Let's look closer at each one of these bulleted items. As we go through each one of those choices, we're gonna share some different free resources that we use at the DOE. But of course, the views and opinions expressed in this presentation do not necessarily state or reflect an endorsement of any commercial products by the Georgia Department of Education. These are just ideas to get you started. Let's look at outreach. Lots of things can be shared using social media. Content like newsletters, parent tips, event information, news articles, photos, and videos. A tool that we use at the DOE that's a free resource is MailChimp. MailChimp is an email service that allows you to build various groups of people and send information out, attaching documents, pictures, and videos, scheduling these emails to go out whenever it suits your school the best. You can look at MailChimp at MailChimp.com. Another area for using social media is to share time-sensitive information. Content such as emergency concerns, weather-related closings and delays, a change in the event's date or times that you have planned, and reminders like picture day or when money's due. A free resource that we use at the DOE is Twitter. This allows you to share a quick piece of information as well as attaching a picture and even a link to an online source. You can use social media to help build relationships with your families. You can connect parents to each other, provide parents response and discussion opportunities. You can create specific groups for parents maybe a fifth grade classroom group, clubs, sports, 
some free resources that will help with this is Facebook, creating a group with like interest, all of the parents of the varsity soccer team. You can also use Pinterest and include monthly parent newsletters or resource room ideas. You can use social media to share good news. Direct parents to good news produced by television, newspapers, and or other various media outlets. You could spotlight your parents and volunteers. You could spotlight staff members and students of the month. Instagram's a great free resource that allows you to upload graphics, pictures, photos, and include a caption and give those staff, parents, and students a quick shout out. Social media could also serve as a source for online learning for parents. You can engage parents in learning skills that help boost student success. You could provide online informational classes, maybe English classes for your Spanish speaking families. You could post videos of teachers demonstrating skills being taught. Add a video of a teacher explaining how to do a math problem so parents are more comfortable at home. You could also create discussion groups between parents and teachers. YouTube is a great place to upload those videos. I encourage you to set up a, a timeline at the beginning of the year of how you're going to post on social media. Maybe one month out from an event, like a parent training, you could give in-depth information posted on your school website. You could use social media, email, printed media to refer to the website. You can do updated message two weeks prior to that parent training. And one day before that parent training, send out a last reminder using social media and a text. Again, if you're using this session as a building capacity workshop for your staff, Complete the following activity. In a small group, pick one of the five ways that we just discussed, select your social media tool, and create your own timeline. Let's take about 10 minutes to create this timeline in your groups. Let's share those timelines that you just completed. There's lots of resources available for you at the Godot. Are you following our Twitter page? Did you like our Facebook page? Have you subscribed to our YouTube channel? All of these will be a wealth of resources for you. Please contact your family engagement specialist if you have questions or concerns about your area. This would be a great time to let your staff or group that you're presenting to ask any questions, give any comments, or share any thoughts. Thanks for listening. And as always, we're always here to help serve you and your families.